Hey gang, <laughs> well here we are at the end of 2019 and as I've been doing for the past several years, I uh, I do for you guys my weirdest incident story of uh, the past few years and before I get to that, I just want to say to uh, to all you guys out there, subscribers, non-subscribers, friends, family, let us all hope and pray that 2020 will be a little bit better than 2019. Um, 2019 was a crazy year. Um, some of, some of us lost friends. Some of us some of us lost family members. And uh, in the year 2020, the only thing we can look forward to, unfortunately, is Trump being president again. So yeah. <laughs> But you know what? I'm not a political guy, and I don't want to talk politics. But uh, because I couldn't care less, I don't vote. So you know, what do I care? Anyway, <laughs> we're here to talk about the weirdest incident story of 2019. And gang, I don't know what it is about springtime. I swear, it's like springtime. Well, springtime and a full moon brings out crazy things to happen. And gang, I got to tell you, this was something else. So this happened back around, I want to say either March or April or something like that. And I'm heading back to the house. And it was late at night. I think it was about around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just walking along this side of the highway here. And I noticed there was some guy walking across that side. So I'm thinking nothing of it, you know, because usually you see people walking around or riding a bike. 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Some people are talking on a phone. Or some people just walking by themselves listening to music. Or, like I said, people ride a bike. And <laughs> so I'm just, you know, walking along, minding my own business. And like I said, it's a full moon outside. And, well, the guy walking across that way looks up at the moon and starts to howl. Yeah. He didn't do it once. He did it several times. <laughs> And I thought, keep walking. <laughs> keep walking, dude. Just don't look don't look over at that weirdo. Just keep walking. Just 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 walk. Just breathe. Just because <laughs> again, a full moon, a nice spring night, and this guy's howling. And he did it for several minutes. Even when he was still walking down the road, he was still howling. I didn't even bother to think maybe he could be on something or maybe he was just playing nuts or maybe he was just trying to show off. I don't know. Could be all of the above. Not 100% sure, but yeah, strange things happen on a full moon, folks, and that is living proof. I mean, I don't think I've ever howled at a full moon because, you know, I'm not part werewolf. Not like the ex-roommate, but yeah. <laughs> so there you have it, gang. <laughs> my my weirdest incident story of 2019. And I and I want to say to all of you guys out there, to all of you that have subscribed to this channel in the past year, thank you very very much. Thank you so very very much for doing so. And uh, I hope that by the end of 2020. Uh, well, for the most part, for the biggest part, I'm, I hope to be in Muskogee, Oklahoma with my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah. And Sarah, I just want to, I just want to say to you again, I love you. And I miss you. And I'll, I'll, I'll see you home soon, beautiful. I, I will. I promise. And, um, so yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm really kind of excited for the new year. Um, it's, it's going to be something, gang. It's going to really be something. So I hope to, I hope that every one of you out there who set a goal or resolution for the new year, I hope you reach your goal. But if you don't, try again in 2021. And, um, but hey, we got 365 days to try to be whatever we're aiming to be. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so, again, to all of you out there, 
throughout the entire year. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in 2020. So until we get to there, thank you guys so very, very much for watching. God bless you all. And again, to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, I love you forever and always, always and forever. My wonderful, beautiful wife, I'll see you home soon. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. Till next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.